Good morning, class one. I am Anil Bhagat, your science teacher from Modern International School, Hiswa. Welcome back to our e-learning program. Today, in this video lecture, we will discuss about chapter two, that is, living and non-living things. So. In today, in this video lecture, we will revise chapter two, that is, living and non-living things. In the previous lectures, we had discussed about the first chapter, that is, our surroundings. Now, today, we are going to discuss about the living and non-living things. So, first of all, living things. So, as we know, living things need food to eat. They need water to drink. They need air to breathe. They feel and they grow. They move from one place to other place. So these are called living things, like a plant. Like a plant. Plants need food, need water, need air. They grow and they feel also. Yes. They do not move from one place to another place, but they are living things. In our surroundings or in our neighborhood, there are so many things which are living. Like the animals, the humans, the plants, various types of insects and birds are there. So these all are living things. So they need, they, they need food to eat, they need water to drink, they need air to breathe, they feel, they move, they grow and they reproduce also. Means they produce same type of organism as they are. Then comes the non-living things. Then comes the non-living things. So non-living things are those things which do not need, need food to eat, they need, do not need water to drink, they do not need air to breathe, they do not grow, they do not feel, they do not move from one place to another place and they do not reproduce. That is, they do not produce a baby like themselves or they do not produce an organism like themselves. These are called non-living things. These are called non-living things. Now, there is a question that a car moves from one place to another place. And it needs petrol also. So, it's a living or non-living thing. The answer is, it's a non-living thing. Because it, are, it is not able to produce a new baby or a new organism like him, like it. So, a car is a non-living organism. Now, non-living things are of two types. One is natural non-living things and the other is man-made non-living things. So, natural non-living things are those things which are already present in nature or they are made by nature like rocks, mountains, rivers, sunlight, soil. These all are natural non-living things because they are made by nature they are made by nature in the same way man-made non-living things are those things which are made by man man-made non-living things are made by man like book pen pencil mobile phone computer table chair our house bed Several things which we use in our daily life, our car, our bike, our bicycle, they all are non-living things, man-made non-living things. So, they cannot grow, they cannot reproduce as the living things are there. So, these are the two types of non-living things. One is natural, the other one is man-made, non-living thing. So class, 
i hope you all are able to understand this lecture well see this lecture again and again if any problem ask me i will help you class have a great day thank you